All right, guys. So we have most of the parts for the go kart uh, stage one kit. Um, we have the Duramax engine. We have the oil catch can, header, tires, mounting plate, torque converter, spark plug. So we're about to remove the governor as well. And uh, so we can get started on the video. Let's take a look at the engine. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is take off the gas tank, the exhaust, the air box, the switch, and then we can get started on the governor removal. Use a 10 millimeter socket, take the air box nuts off. Here's grab hold of that. Like pull that off. We don't need all of this. This is our header kit. It's a simple kit. JTW Fabrication. You can check them out on eBay. I'll leave a link on the description where you can get this one. It's fairly cheap. Um, the only thing is you need a welder so you can weld your own flange. The good thing about that is you can uh, cut your header facing whatever way you want it to. So you can Put that wherever you want, however you want, like this, facing anywhere. Then you can put a muffler or anything if you want to quiet down a little bit. So it's a pretty cool little kit. All of these. Okay. Guess you can put a starter. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take this switch off the starter switch off because it's in the way of some of the uh, nuts you need to remove to get the gas tank off so it's two um eight millimeter bolts and you could just place that on the side for now because you might be using some of these uh, wires now that we got that out of the way we can remove the gas tank nuts all right, so to take the gas tank off, there's four nuts holding it. Um, the two on the sides, um, use 10 millimeter sockets. And the ones down here, there's two of them, use a 13 millimeter uh, hex nuts. Before removing your gas tank, you can remove the fuel hose from here. So well, this is a this goes into the charcoal canister, and then you got to remove the actual fuel hose that goes into your carburetor, just like so. And you can take your gas tank off. There's like a little bracket here holding it, so you can remove that out of the way. Gas tank is off. And here is our governor. So we will be removing that. We don't need any of this stuff. Uh, we gotta open up the crank case housing. And then we can get started on removing the governor. We're gonna be removing this charcoal canister because we don't need that. <laughs> this is a go-kart off-road. You gotta just, you know. Seven 10 millimeter bolts here to take the crank case cover off. And there might be some oil you want to take off, so you probably wouldn't do that. Put it under the engine, it's only under tape. So something good happened. 
our gasket did not tear when we took the cover off so we're gonna be reusing this gasket um, so to take the governor off we will be taking this off here this is part of the governor um, you can literally take this off any way you want you can break it into pieces I know the 212 the predator 212s you can take them off easier but these are a little bit harder people just break them off and you know that's how you remove these usually oil sensor shut off switch that goes into your switch and turns your motor off if it senses too little oil we're going to be removing that too we don't really need that and this here is our governor the rest of the governor we will be using that it needs to clear that needs to come out so i'm gonna break these off so we're tapping the hole from the governor and I'm using a quarter inch extension the entrance here goes right on the tap pretty damn good reason I'm doing that is because without this extension it'll be too low and you'll hit these mounts for the gas tank so this is a perfect way to tap your the hole for the governor Now I use grease because the grease captures all the metal that can possibly fall inside your block. And I also put a towel down there so all that stuff hopefully falls into the towel not the, not the block and it looks like everything did. It's all here. Okay so we just finished making the threads here with our tap. It's a 3 8 uh, 16 thread so that's coarse and we're gonna be using blue Loctite uh, as like a gasket and we're also using o-rings I'm using three here so when we put it on it definitely won't leak any oil so we're gonna be putting the blue Loctite now and you can use a uh, you can use red Loctite that's more heavy duty this is a medium duty but it works the same so just be generous with them make sure the whole thing is covered up get it in there we'll be doing the same thing that one we use the 7 16 by uh, well 7 16 and a 20 pitch so that's fine thread That should be good though. Yeah. Sure. You only need one. <laughs> one O-ring. I used two of them and uh so pretty good. I don't that's think gonna be there. <laughs> At least you're gonna uh, do. This is not this bolt by the way, it's not in the way of the, the balance here. No. Not oh, maybe close. Okay, now we can clean the inside here, make sure all the tiny little shavings are out. So this is our jet and the kit I have is a 44 and the other one's a 45 I'll be using a 44 for now because it's not cammed or anything and it's not really running any major mods just a stage one so you just tighten it back in and put your flow bowl back on 10 millimeter and you're all set fastest mod you can do 
Okay, so we took the original spark plug off and we're going to be using uh, Autolite Racing spark plug. The part number for this is Autolite AR3910X and you can get this at any of your auto parts store or at gopartsports.com. Make sure you do these by hand first and tighten not a whole lot. So we're taking the exhaust uh, bolts off of the where the flange will go because we're using bolts instead of well bolts with a head on it instead of these. So the way to take these off is you get the two nuts, put one in first, just like so. Tighten the second one on top of it. And then put it on reverse on full speed, full power. Should come right off. And we will be using the supported uh, bolts here, which use a Allen. It's an Allen head. Right. So we're about to dump this oil after we finish running it. I'm using that Walmart brand Super Tech 30 weight heavy duty. So you can grab more of the all the stuff that will come out of it. That's no fuel. Fuel in there. All right, we're about to turn it on. Um, uh, we're gonna use this tank for now. Uh, we have our own custom tank here, but for now we're just gonna use this. And uh, I don't have the carburetor air filter yet. That's coming in later. So for now we're gonna use this. Um, so let's turn it on and see how it sounds. Turn it on again. <laughs> 